In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB so that you can install Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC. You can pause this video if needed as we're going to go through the following steps fairly quickly. First, you're going to download the full ISO from ESOC or Aero. If the ISO happens to be a DVD 9 dual layer, I have a video on how to convert that to a single ISO. Third, you're going to mount the ISO as a drive on your computer and then insert the USB flash drive, making sure it's a minimum of 8 gig in size. Take note of the drive letters for the mounted ISO and the USB. And then start a command prompt as an administrator and enter the following commands. You're going to launch the disk part utility and then you're going to type lisk disk Look at the disk drives that are there and choose the smallest one, which is usually your USB. Select disk one in this case, clean, which wipes the USB clean of all partitions. Then you're gonna create a partition primary, then you're gonna select partition one, and then lastly, you'll make it active. From there, you're going to format with the FS NTFS quick command, which should format it fairly quickly then you'll assign a drive letter and exit out of the disk part utility. Make note of the mounted drive versus the USB. In this case, go to your mounted drive, change to the boot directory, and run the boot set command, which will make the USB bootable. From there, change to the root of your mounted ISO and run the xcopy command, copying all the contents from your mounted ISO to the USB with those switches. And from there, you can remove the USB and use it to boot and install Windows 10. Great job. Any questions, make sure and contact us here at Arrow.